For the top international headlines, we turn to our Isan o at the News Center. Today's focus, rescue teams struggled to get to an Indonesian plane crash site. Protesters in Tianjin understandably demand answers and compensation regarding last week's deadly blast. And Japan's economy shrinks in the second quarter. But first, Hanul, let's turn to Indonesia, where, where bad weather has been hampering search and rescue efforts. What's the latest from officials there? Well, recovery teams were headed to Papua on Monday, where the wreckage of the missing Trigana plane was reportedly spotted. But efforts teams on the grounds have been moving slowly due to erratic and heavy rains. So far, what we do know is that all passengers on board were Indonesian nationals, but it's not known if anyone survived. And the plane's black boxes have yet to be located. The flight was also carrying 470,000 U.S. dollars in cash to distribute to needy families in the eastern province. Our Kim ji has more. An Indonesian passenger plane carrying 54 people has been found crashed in the mountainous part of the country. A government official confirmed the Trianga Air Service plane had been found in the Oktabe district of the Papua region. Details are still filtering through, but the official says villagers reported seeing the plane smash into the side of a mountain. According to the information, the Tragana Air aircraft that lost contact was found at Camp 3 Ukbabe district in the Pintang Mountains Regency. The information provided by the local residents said that the flight crashed into Tanguk Mountain. The detail on this finding is still under investigation. The domestic flight carrying 44 adult passengers, five children and five crew members lost contact with air traffic control on Sunday afternoon local time without making a distress call. A detailed search effort was called off late Sunday as well as the following day on Monday due to inclement weather. How long the search is conducted depends on the weather, I guess. The important thing is that we know the approximate location, so we will focus our search efforts there. Air transport is commonly used despite Indonesia's patchy aviation record, since land travel is often impossible in the island country. Indonesia has already seen two major plane crashes in the past year, prompting the government to introduce stricter safety regulations. Kim Jiang, Arirang News.